All right, here's a real treat. We have George Cameron and a bunch of cool people, and he is of the left bank. Yay. Richard Barone. Yes, I know. Our guest singer is Richard Barone. Right. We're going to have fun tonight. Yep. Let's all go, fellas. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> genius and then me and Steve Martin showed up with rock and roll and I said well you gotta learn some rock and roll dude wow so so it's a, you know where are you from I'm from the city born Hell's here kitchen really Hell's what kitchen. hospital were you born in St. Clair's wow and um did you ever live not in New York City yeah I've been I've been you know since I've been 15 I, I've been out of town all my life Roman yeah, roaming, learning nothing, <laughs> but rock and roll. Yeah. So when did you join the left bank? When did that all start? Well, me and Steve started, uh, me and Steve used to sing a lot of Beatles songs. Uh, we were at Motown, you know, kind of guys that grew up, but the Beatles, man, they just blew our minds. And we used to, oh, we used to love them. And uh, we used to sing uh, <laughs> a lot of their songs. And um, then Do we- Do you have a favorite Beatles song? Oh, yeah. Here, take that. We're gonna get Mr. Moonlight. Yeah. There's a, a, oh my God. When we used to sing all the time in, in Washington Square Park was uh, oh man, I can't think of it. Yeah, but we sang a lot of it, and we sang um, Good Day Sunshine. Okay. Good you know, Day Sunshine. And wait, we did that so great. And you're gonna lose that girl. Oh, that's a you're good You're gonna one. lose that girl. So, so you loved the Beatles. Yeah, they had. Did you ever see them live? No, but they had. Um, you know what they had? What they have? They have. Uh, they had movies. No, they had all. They had a lyrical thing about them, and uh, a different sound that was like so. They were like the, almost the like next progression of the Everly Brothers. Mm. You know. And uh, so the left bank was inspired totally from the Beatles. Sure. Me and Steve just walked up and down uh, uh, McDougal singing, You're Gonna Lose That Girl. Wow. <laughs> and people, we were nuts. So, we so what fun. was the first gig the left bank had? Oh my God, we did a gig 
in a church. Uh, we were even wrecked to a gig. <laughs> we couldn't play at the time. But uh, and I was playing guitar. So we went up to St. Um, some church. And uh, a lot of people showed up. Wow. They loved us. Wow. And we didn't get paid much, but what we did, we rented a limousine, went back home, and had wow. sex. Wow, with all the girls? So the girls? No, no girls. Uh, at, the, at that time. Okay, so uh, what, what was the highlight of like when, when you knew the left bank like, was taking off? Like, how did that happen? Wow. You know, we never realized what we were doing. We were just writing music. Right. And one day, I'm on the way to Ohio, and this, this jockey <laughs> with his real ego came on and said, the left man coming to town. I said, oh my God, this wow. is real. Wow, This is really real. Wow. Yeah. So what was it like? Like, like how long did it last? Oh, it lasted a couple of years. Uh, we had a... You know, we didn't have really good producers all the time. And they, like typical, right? Yeah, yeah, we had the guy from Green Tambourine. He don't know nothing about the left bank classical music. Ah. Yeah, he's going to kill me, but I don't care. Well. <laughs> but they uh, didn't get it. But, but it's still like the left, some people that love the left bank, like, you have groupies. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You do. You have, like, loyal fans. Yeah. And a lot of people do really, like, look up to your band as... Do you know what freaks me out? When I, Tom Finn had a Facebook page, and for some reason, I ended up on that Facebook page, and uh, people are analyzing N one day, and I'm going, what? Wow, when they right? Me, they are not close. Really? <laughs> and I said, oh man, these people still love us? They do. And I said, after all this time? So I said, I'm gonna form a group. So me and Paul Alves from uh, Portugal, uh, we, we started in basements and uh, wow. on the Lower East Side here, and Tom came in later. So are you playing now? Uh, no, I'm going to, um, I'm trying to get a band together to go down to Steve. Because I've been, uh, if anybody reads my uh, webpage, I've been waiting to see for two years. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I talk to him every day, and he said, George, you got to come down here. And where is he? Florida. Okay, so it's not that far. Yeah, but it's not bad. Uh, we have an agency down there that wants to put us together. Wow. But, Will they um, put you in festivals and stuff? Yeah. You know, and... Um, That's so cool. I mean, why not, right? And we get along so well. Me and Steve, it's just like... When we sing together, it's like... Oh, the best. Wow. That's it's like... You know, enjoyment to death. Right. So, how many people do you think have covered that song you just sang? But why don't you ask me who covered it the best? Who covered it the best? Ricky Lee Jones. Oh, I love her. I love she Ricky Lee Jones. She covered it the best. Really? Uh, Alan Merrill does it pretty well. I know. I Alan love, Merrill. I love Alan. Alan does it great. We, we, we actually did a thing for Japan with Alan Merrill. He's, he's famous in Japan, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's one of my best friends. He's the best. He's one of my best friends. I love him so much. But wow, he does a good one. But Ricky Lee Jones did a good wow. one. Wow. If nobody's ever heard it, you got to listen. Yeah. She changed the whole thing into so Wow. Intense. The four tops did it, but they did the same thing we did. Oh, they right. did a little harder. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And that was okay, but she did a whole different uh, composition of it. Interesting. It blew me away. Wow. I love what did she did. Did you meet her? No, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I hope to. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. So who else? But like, I mean, how? who else covered the song? Like, that you can remember? Oh, my God. It's uh, not, I know. It's Southside Johnny. Um, wow. So do you know who Renee is? Yeah. Who is she? She used to come in the studio all the time. So, she was Tom Finn's girlfriend. Okay. Now, Mike Brown was the piano player. Yeah, but didn't, yeah. And, and, and he was in love with her. Okay. But, but she, she was, was Tom's girl. Right. And so he just lost his mind <laughs> and started writing songs about her. Not the not Tom, the other one. No, Mike. Mike, Mike. was the Mike was the main writer. Okay. And uh and Pretty Ballerina was about her. Wow. It was a, he was so in love with her. She was so she was really <coughs> Did she no ever mate. did she know? Yeah she knows. She used to come up to the studio. But did so she knew Mike was in love with her even though she was Yeah and she kind of avoided Mike, you know, because she was, it was in awkward. Town. Yeah. And then she married this guy named Woody. So none of them. They yeah. all lost. So she walked away. Yeah, she walked away. She right? walked away. <laughs> Maybe they planted that seed for her to walk away. But she was she was such a sweetheart. Is she, she still around? Are you friends with her on Facebook? 
Yeah, but she doesn't want to. She doesn't want people to bother her. Well, they might. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm on the same thing. Because people used to like, you know. Go find her through your friends. Is her name Renee? Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna look for her. What do you think we said? Walk away, Renee. <laughs> no, I won't look for you. Walk away, Renee. She might walk away from Facebook then, right? No, yeah. Yeah, she. She might. wants to be private. She doesn't want the. the it's kind of nice, though. I'm sure she loves the fact that that song is about her. You know that, and I Hello, know that. come on, right? It's a yeah. beautiful song. Everybody sings it. Why do you think people are so drawn to it? I, uh, you know, it's between one of my songs and Walk Away, Renee. Uh, something on my mind, and uh, I chose Walk Away, Renee. Really? <laughs> like a dummy. Ah. <laughs> but no, it was a better song. Yeah. And I, I heard it. I, I heard do you think a hit makes this, like, like, do you think you planned, like, did you know that was going to be the one, or like, does, does it just happen? Like, does a hit pick itself? Great, great question. Uh, it just happened. Yeah. I just happened to like the song. No company, no record company wanted it. See? They thought it was garbage. Right. That's what, but then what do they know? And, well, I Mercury think. put it out. Ooh, just put it out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't market it right. What? It worked its way up from that's south what, all the way here. It deserves its own value. See, that's what I mean. It kind of like happens on its own, right? Yeah. So, and, and I wish the, most of these uh, executives would be musicians. So so when did you turn into a cowboy? Uh, when I went to Nashville to see my friend of mine, mm. and I got into it. Yeah. And uh, I like the new you know, stuff. And uh, So did you stay in Nashville for a while? Yeah. Did you the food is great. There? The food is great, but uh, uh, the Grand Ole Opry looks like a schoolhouse. <laughs> I hate to say that. Yeah. Why? Well, it just looks like a rich schoolhouse, you know. I, yeah. I was waiting for like this monumental thing, you know, like wow, like. And it but it wasn't bad. that. Yeah. But and Nashville is kind of cool, though. Oh, the food is great. You'll never leave. <laughs> well, what'd you eat there? I, I, I ate at Waffle House. Christy, all kinds of I stuff. I ate at Waffle House in Nashville. I never house? went to a Waffle House. In my, I was so excited. It was so much fun. And they know how to cook. They do. Some people know how to cook. It was so fun. I was Even only though they're red states, hours. they know how to cook. Wow. So are you going to go back? To Nashville? Yeah. No, I'm going to go to Florida, pick up Steve, finally. And with my two friends here, I think we're going to rock and roll. Cool. We just did a tour uh, two years ago on the East Coast. Oh, with, with the, the zombies, left bank. With the zombies. Oh. And I don't know why people think the zombies and the left bank are sort of the same kind of group, because I never saw it. But we broke records. Wow. And I was happy. I That's was really great. Happy. Because, yeah, because people need music that they can relate to. It, you know, it's, it's almost like you're reliving people's lives yeah because that. it's melodic you know it has a lyric and has a melody and a story yes you know yeah. hip-hop i mean it's fine. for those who like hip-hop I, you know i'm not a big fan but i did like dmc did you like, yeah but what about rhythm do you like r&b oh yes. yeah i mean so Blues? Yeah, you yeah so you know hip-hop can come from that too i mean it's all about the lyrics it's a gangster rap i didn't like it. right you like more like dmc they were they were created yeah. Man, they were doing stuff that was so great, and if we would have followed that, man, I would have been nuts. Yeah. What about like Eminem? Do you like Eminem? Oh yes. He's brilliant, right? Yeah, he's brilliant. And you know what he did for, for writers and he's he's writers writer. out there? You know, right? He went out there and defended writers and said, "We're not getting enough money. You know, you guys are cheating the hell out of us." Well, what about us, local musicians in New York City? Yeah, that's what he's, I'm talking about. Anybody yeah. who wrote a song, he said, "You know, we deserve a little more money. You know, yeah. you're taking too much of an end." And uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. And yeah. so I, 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 I never expected him to, um, to do that. I, I gotta get my sound effects. Oh. And, and can you bring some candy for this guy? Because I know he's. Whoa! See, this has a mind of its own too. Oh yes. So it just did its own little thing. You want to push a button? Okay. Let me see. I push number. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We have such good help on our show. Uh, thank you so much. So it is National um, Catfish Day yes. and Strawberry Parfait Day. So I have some catfish here and strawberry parfaits, and we would love to have you partake. In oh, I'll take catfish. Okay, so can you yeah. can you share a skeleton from your closet? Oh, uh, I mean, I sure. feel like I'm getting one right now. I'm like totally yeah. tangled up. I was not, uh, you know, when you were a bad boy. Nah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> 
But there's one thing that's haunting me all my life. Oh, tell us, tell us. You I know, be healed. I know, I know. I have to tell it because it's, it's yeah. what's haunted me. And then it will be, you'll be free. I had this great girlfriend who loved the hell out of me. And then I went to uh, Kentucky, met this other girl. Uh-oh. And we, we really hit it off. And I threw this girl out of the house. The one that loved you? Yeah. She was crying all up and down. So I was, I'll never forget that. That was the worst thing I ever did to someone. And, and you guys got the shoes in. So, so what happened? Did the new girl move in? Yeah, she did, and the old girl cried out. And did the new girl turn into, out to be like worth it? No, she turned out to be my best friend. Oh, good. She turned out to be a the new beautiful girl. human being. Yeah. The, the, and what happened? The old one? You never talked to anymore. I couldn't. I I couldn't face it. You broke her heart. Yeah, and that was horrible. Wow. That was really. Well, intense. maybe she met someone better. I hope so. <laughs> Well, there's nobody better than the camera on, but maybe she met somebody close. I don't know. I but, uh, <laughs> for her, you know, I'm happy for you. But, but so, like, so now the new girl ended up not being like the one that ended up being. No. She was a country girl. She was down home. Did she go back to Kentucky? Yeah, because the grandmother was dying eventually, oh. and um, I couldn't go to Kentucky. What am I going to do in Kentucky? I mean, the Derby. Yeah, I can ride the derby. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But, uh, you know, I understood where she was going. Sure. So I let her do what her thing was. And I miss her today. Aww. She was my best friend, man. Wow. I never found a woman like that ever again. Wow. Except my therapist. And she <laughs> can't. <laughs> and she won't go out with me. <laughs> well, that's a conflict of interest, right? That's it. But like, you do hear stories all the time of... Well, not this one. <laughs> And she's good she's looking. She's too smart. She knows you too well. Yes, I think so. She catches me. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, that's hilarious. She's a wonderful lady. And um, I mean, I've been lucky because I met, you know, some good people, Tom and Steve. Yeah, you had a hit, a big Mike. giant hit, which is kind of fun. And I didn't realize it. Nobody realized that, you know, nobody wanted it. It's so crazy because that's the kind of song that, like, everybody knows. Yeah, it became a classic. And I bet you all those record companies that denied it. Yeah, what do you think of the record companies today? Oh man, I'd rather go with the... Uh, indie? But the indie. aren't the indies major now anyway? Like they just pretend they're indies? Some are. Some are! <laughs> but uh, the major companies, they, they, they want to take too much away from you. Um, they don't give you your, uh, they want you to do some of their songs, at least in our case. Right. We, we had to do, excuse me fellas, Two disco songs. Really? For the third album. Don't listen to that horrible. Aww. You know, the guy said, oh, you got to sound like the Bee Gees. Yeah, yeah. The, I always feel like the music industry, you know, remember in cartoons how it's like all those people and like something happens and they all run there yeah. and then they go over there and they all run there and then they, that's what it's like. You got to. They don't know when the, a good thing is in front of their face. Yeah, so what do, you, just, what do you think of little Justin Bieber? Fuck him. <laughs> Thank you. You fuck him. No, thank you. That's <laughs> not sweetheart. I don't want anything here tonight. I don't fuck with baby dicks. I'm sorry. Whoa! We're getting heavy here. That's right. I don't know. I just heard he got in trouble again. He's trying so much to be. He's a fucking used tampon. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Let's put her on stage. It's <laughs> Caroline or behind the scenes. I love scene. you, Caroline. I love her too. She's the <laughs> best. She says she's being you. I'm not on stage. You're being you, Caroline. We love it. We love it. He knows Spitz. Well, I guess. Well, supposedly he stinks of marijuana because... Um, he stinks musically, too. Oh. He's not that good. So who do you like today? Who do I like today? Um... I mean, I just was meaning like the record companies like wanted everyone to be him, but now they don't. I know, <laughs> and I would never join a company that wanted to do a Bieber thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Coldplay. Oh, okay. Uh, um, Mr. Gwen and Paul Trump. Yeah, they're, they're really serious. Nickelback. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I love Nickelback. Really? You don't like them? No! I love them! Chuck and Hale! I heard that that's like a huge pickup line. No, it's not. Yes, somebody told How me. How about nine-inch nails? I fucking love them. <laughs> <laughs> nine-inch nails. Come on. You know what that means, right? <laughs> <laughs> that nine-inch nails. Nine-inch nails. Yeah, that's your point. Yeah, they're good. They're, they're good. really good. 
and they're different, you know. And yeah, I'm, I like different. Different's uh, good. Yeah, it is. It's hard to be different, you know. It's well, everything's been done, but you can still be you, as as um, Richard Barone yeah. said. And I and love what he said. Because yeah. yeah, when you're just being you, no matter how the same you are, you're not the same. That's right. Because we're all the same, but we're all different. Right. So like, if you're not copying, you know, copying is almost okay. But if you're copying as you, then you're not copying. Yeah. But right? if you copy a song, you may be better than the guy who did it the first time. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Or mm -hmm. just do your own real interpretation. Yeah. Like I don't think anyone could be you. I don't know. You Maybe seem you pretty. Could. I don't know. You seem pretty. One of a kind. One of a kind? Yeah. Is that is that is that a drink or something? It should be. We should make one. What no. would, if you were a drink, what would you be? If I was a drink, I'd be tequila. Yay! With or without the worm? Well, I, well I don't with the worm. <laughs> yeah, I go with the worm. Exactly. Did you ever eat one of them? Yes, I did. And what happened? In New Mexico, nothing. Nothing. I was, I was so drunk it didn't matter. <laughs> But, um, so do you have a website where people can check you out? Yeah, we have the official uh, Left Bank website, and then I have my own website, George Cameron. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully with my buddies here, uh, we're going to rock and roll some stuff. Sounds wonderful. Wow. Come back and visit anytime <laughs> with your ID. With oh, <laughs> my ID. What an intro that was. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Thank you so much. <laughs>